Yeah, part two of reading music. Um, if you don't know part one, go over to part one and then come back. Now if you take a further look at the sheet music, there are not only steps. <laughs> you will see lines, um, right, left and anything. But um, today we want to talk about um, bar lines. If you have two bar lines, the space between those two bar lines is called a measure. These are the things, if you see a sheet music, where the, where the whole notes and uh, half notes and quarter notes are in. And these things are called bar lines. So let's take a further look um, onto the notes and their value. Um, every note um, has a head. It's the big thing. It can be um, black filled or it can be white filled. This is the note head. Then some notes have a stem. A stem um, can be notated um, upwards or downwards. Um, the direction doesn't affect um, how to play the note or whatever. But it makes easier to read um, if um, they are written neatly within the measure and um, the only thing it's easier to read. And some notes have uh, flags. Um, it shows the value of the note. If it's an, um, an eighth note or a sixteenth note. Um, if you have, I say, it, um, two neighbors, two neighbor eighth notes or sixteenth notes or four of them, um, they were notated with beams instead of flags. It's uh, for easier reading. Uh, these are all common notes we use and these are all rests we use. A rest shows you when and how long you don't play in a piece of music. Um, we take a deeper um, look at the note and the rest value in the next video or later or ah, I look. Where on our staff the note sits um, between the lines or on the line determines uh, you uh, or asks uh, which notes to play, uh, which note um, we have to play. Um, for example, um, if we take a look at the C major scale, you see at the bottom it's the C, then over the C it's a D and so on. Um, C, D, F, G, A, B, C and um, um, there is no space between them. Um, if the C is on the bottom line, um, the um, D is not on the line above, it's between the line above and the C line, so, and so on. Um, keep that in mind. I think it's enough for this video. Um, I will keep it short and um, in the next video you um, will learn everything about uh, time signatures and how they work. Okay, hasta luego, tschüss and goodbye.